In this demonstration, I'll run through how to convert your scanned text into proper AutoCAD editable text. At the moment, on my scanned image, I have my text, but I can't click on it, I can't edit it, I can't change it, because it's just scanned image. So, the first thing you need to do is, before you go and edit your text, or convert it, you need to check what height of the text is. Because this is a scanned image, I don't know the height of my text. So if I type dist, and then measure from the base point to the height of the text, it's about 5 mil, 5.2 mil text. So I know that when I select my output size, I know what size to put in. You may have two different heights of text on the drawing, so you might need to add more than one. So the first thing I need to do is come into the configure text. What this allows me to do is set up my input and output for my text. So the input size is 0.7 to 10 mil, so that's fine, my text is 5 mil. The space size offset, all this is relevant to if you have a long string of text and you want to split it out into individual items, then you reduce your space size. The alignment is if you have two bits of text, one slightly higher or lower than the other, you can bring it into alignment. Um, but for this text, I'm going to leave it as it is, so I don't need to alter this input screen. I then go onto the output screen, and this is where I can put my different orientation of text. I'm going to do 0 degrees first, because if I do 0 and 90, then it might find a 1 at 0 or a dash at 90 and it might get confused. So I'm going to do 0 degrees first. My output size, I'm going to put 5 mil because that's what I've just added. I'm going to take out the smaller size because I don't have any other size in there. Ambiguous characters, things like 5s and S, 0s and O. What it does is when it, if you have those characters in this list, when it finds a 5 or an S, it will ask you every time, what is this character? I'm going to do character recognition, so I'll leave that one checked. And I don't want to save my raster. So because I have character recognition, I'm going to this tab, character recognition. And I'm going to open or create a new file. Here I have a ICR file, which is an intelligent character recognition file which I've already trained up on certain types of text in a similar drawing. So what I'm going to do is open this file. So if you have a drawing and you train up the file on the handwriting style, the text style, then you can save it and then retrain it and keep training the file as you go. I'm going to leave the confidence level at 100%, so it's going to ask me for every character that it finds. What I should do in a minute is reduce this down and then it will be more automatic. So that's really the configuration, so I say OK. And now I just need to select the text that I want to convert. So I use this command here, convert to text. And then I just draw a window around the text that I want to convert. Pick these three items here. So it displays to you in a window what the text is, what the character is, what it's found, and how sure that it's right. So it's got a 4, it thinks it's a 4, and it's 98% sure when it's right. So I say OK. Decimal point, 100% sure. 9, 96% sure. 4. It'll also recognise special characters, so here it's given me the Unicode, but I could put in the percent C as well, so it will look down the special characters. 7, 90%, 0, 0.0. So now it's converted my raster text. So it's now proper editable AutoCAD text. So I can double click on it and I can change it. So it's a very 
easy way to convert your text. You don't have to worry about placing it, typing new text or anything like that. Because this file's already been trained, I'm going to come into the configuration dialog again, go onto my character tab, and I'm going to reduce this down to 85%. So what it's going to do is any character that it finds, and it's 85% or more positive it knows what the answer is, it's going to do it without asking me. So I say OK, and I'll just scroll across to a bit more text. So I shall select that one, that one, it's done it for me. Because it knows what the characters are, then it knows what they're going to be. So I select some more, convert to text. It knew it was a decimal point, but it was 84% sure. So it was just about below my threshold, but it got it right anyway. So it's a very quick way to convert your text.